Persian smilkfetch was listed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 1998 as a threatened species. We've counted out there this, uh, this spring in our censuses uh, over 70,000 plants. So it really depends a lot upon the weather, upon the year that you're out there, uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, tremendously variable from year to year. So last year I think we would have said, yeah, this is a plant that appears to be in trouble. But after going out there this year and finding so many of them, it uh, certainly seems like a plant that's doing very well. People don't ride through the plants. I know sometimes uh, there's concern about the plants out here, and uh, that's just not something that happens. Where we do our riding in the open areas, there is no plants. The American Sand Association is a group of sand sport enthusiasts. We have hired a biological consulting firm to do studies on the Pearson milk fetch. We have also retained a law firm and filed a lawsuit against the Bureau of Land Management for noncompliance of the National Environmental Protection Act and the Federal Land Policy Management Act. This pertains to the illegal closures at the Imperial Sand Dew Recreational Area and relates to the Bureau of Land Management not following federal guidelines when implementing this temporary closure. This is something that we can do with the kids and we can do with our grandkids. Uh, I do it with my parents and uh, it's, it's something that kind of bonds us all together. We all have stories when we come back from a ride. A lot of traditions out here. A lot of people come out on the major holidays. Thanksgiving is the biggest holiday out here. We probably have 100,000 visitors in the Imperial Sand Dune Recreation Area during Thanksgiving. And they do the full course dinners and it's part of their uh, whole activities. I was injured uh, in the military during the Gulf War on board a ship and uh, and at the time before my injury I used to do a lot of hiking and uh, camping and you know a lot of uh, you know canoeing and stuff like that and I, I do believe that protection of species is important but uh, at the same time you have to look and see if the species is even being threatened um, there's been people riding in these sand dunes for probably 30 to 40 years and uh, and the plants are still here I've been coming out here for uh, about you know, almost 10 years. Yep. I can come out here on a weekend and uh, just enjoy the hell out of myself and just leave all my troubles behind and it's uh, just great. This gives us the freedom to, we almost like feel like we're not even in wheelchairs anymore. We're, we're equal with everybody else that's riding out here. Oh, well, the seeds are very rugged. They certainly uh, can withstand uh, lots of uh, heat and cold and uh, blowing sand. Uh, they're certainly very rugged in uh, waiting patiently for the right rainfall event to occur. But their seeds last for a long time. Uh, some years when there's little rainfall, you see none of them. And other years when rainfall is abundant, they'll uh, germinate in great quantities and you'll have quite a spring show in the desert with wildflowers. Going up and down through the uh, through the bowls and doing the rides, it's just it's the one of the funnest things I've ever done. My kids love it. Where they say, "Hey, we're going camping at uh, the sand dunes," and they're like, "All right, good. It's the biggest uh, toy box in the world." You know, they they have a great time out here. You know, nobody's making mistakes, and everybody's riding safe. And you know, I'm a firefighter and a paramedic, and I wouldn't bring my kids in an unsafe situation. And uh, they're doing good, and, and we're all happy. Yeah, I want this place to stay open. I want to spend years out here. We need help. We need help with the politicians to take the time to look at the facts and make sure this is all being done in a fair way. Uh, that's all we're asking for is, is uh, fairness. And uh, we are voters. All we leave is tracks. And the first time the wind blows, those are gone.